let's look at the way you can make an emotional connection to your audience. When you are on stage, you can deliver your connection in three different formats. One, with eye connection. Eye connection is a little deeper and more meaningful than eye contact. When you are looking at the people that you can see, say you're around a boardroom table, it's very easy to give equal eye time to each person around the table. For a thought, an idea, or a phrase, you look at each person. When it is an audience, with the part of the audience, if it's large, you won't be able to see them as well, especially if the lights are dark, bright on you, and you can't see the audience. Look for equal pieces of the pie, eye time around each segment of the room. Jerry Seinfeld said, play to the cheap seats first. In other words, if the people in the balcony know that you've acknowledged them and you know that they are there, they will stay with you when you are looking at the parts of the room or the auditorium when you obviously are not looking at them. So eye connection, a thought, an idea, a phrase. Then there is the you versus I ratio. Look at how you can use more you-focused phrases. Always remember John Cantu, comedy legend in San Francisco. He started the Holy Sioux Comedy Club, where a lot of the greats like Dana Carvey and Robin Williams got their start. And in his comedy class, he used to say, if you walk out stage, make a connection with your audience. In a comedy club, it's a lot tougher than it would be for a normal presentation in the corporate environment or in a speech. He said, imagine this very good-looking young woman walked on stage and said, when I was a cheerleader and the audience, the women there that weren't as attractive might think, well, I always wanted to be a cheerleader, but I had fat thighs, I couldn't do it. And Cantu used to say, you don't want your audience to hate you, otherwise they're not going to laugh. He said, what if she walked on stage and said, have you ever had a, an experience when you wanted the ground to open up and you'd fall in? Well, that's what I felt like when I was a cheerleader. In other words, connect to the emotion that is universal before you tell your story. Make sure that when you are talking to an audience, you talk to one person, not the audience. Not everyone in the, in the room. Have you, perhaps you believe, if you agree. And then, of course, stories. And in my communications, we talk a lot about stories. Stories are universal. We all were raised, no matter what culture, that hearing a story was a reward. Stories are the best way to convince and persuade, to entertain and educate, and to make an emotional connection. That is when you're on stage. However, let's look at what happens before you get on stage that helps you make an emotional connection. My friend Darren LaCroix calls it before rapport. In other words, once you know the technology works, wander around the audience, shake hands, talk to them, find out their interest in the subject, thank you for selecting this session. Because whether the audience knows it or not, not only were we raised to love stories, we were raised with the rule of reciprocation. We were trained, when somebody does something nice for you, you return it. You write a thank you note for a Christmas present. You thank your friend's mother for inviting you to their birthday party. If you extend yourself to your audience, they will feel obligated 
to give you their attention when you begin. You won't keep their attention for 45 minutes unless you do more than that, but at least you get off to a good start. Good luck with making an emotional connection to your various audiences.